Hey guys and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing another edition of our five best in the drugstore series. In this series, we focus on the five best products in each section of your skincare routine all found at drugstore prices. We've already covered, if you've already missed it, check them out. We've already covered the five best exfoliators. We've done cleansers. We've done vitamin C serums. We've done SPF. And now we're moving on to the final step in anyone's skincare routine, which is the moisturizer. So in this video, I'm gonna be highlighting what my top five picks for the best moisturizers available at drugstore prices. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about moisturization in general, but then we're gonna get straight on in to the final section, which you'll all be waiting for, which is the personal recommendations. Now, I'll start by saying all skincare is personal, so I'm gonna break it down by skin type. So each skin type will have their own recommendations, so you can pick the right moisturizer for your skin type to just finish off and seal your skincare routine for perfection. Now, for those of you who haven't um, seen, we've recently just announced the winner of our last giveaway. So I'll link the video up there so you can see the winner, see if you've been lucky enough to win the 15 best drugstore products. It's a huge drugstore haul that was won. So I'll link that video there. So check out to see if you're the winner. But today we're going to launch another fantastic giveaway. It's summer, the sun is shining here in the UK, the jumpers are off, the t-shirts are on, and I thought what better way to celebrate than to give away my top five summer favourites. These are going to be the five products, they're going to remain a mystery, but it's going to be a mixture of luxury and drugstore. These are going to be the top five products which I think complete any summer. We've got a fragrance in there, we've got a cleansing balm which is absolutely fantastic. I've got some really bougie, high-end and gorgeous SPF. Five flawless products that no one's summer is going to be complete without. To win this mystery giveaway which has a retail value of $145, make sure that you leave a comment below. Tell me if you like this video, do you disagree with anything I'm saying, do you have any other recommendations you want to meet? Leave me a comment below, follow us on Instagram at SkinMad and then that's it. It's all you have to do and you'll be entered into this fantastic giveaway, giving away nearly $150 worth of fantastic summer products. So don't miss out, leave a comment below. Right, back onto moisturizers. So do I need to moisturize? That I guess is the first question that we're going to talk about before we get into those product recommendations. And the answer might surprise you, no. No, you don't always need to moisturize. Now let me pick that apart a little bit. So moisturizing is the final step in your skincare routine. What it's designed to do is lock in all that fantastic work you've just done. So you've put your, you've done your exfoliation, you've put your serums on, you've put your SPF, you've put your protection on there, your antioxidant if you use one. It's all locked in place by a moisturizer at the end. It has surface hydration. It's not gonna do anything. I don't like these moisturizers which claim to have all these additional benefits. Actually, because you've already got so much product on the skin, it's not really gonna penetrate and do anything meaningful anyway. What it's gonna do is lock all that work that you've just done in, and it's gonna add some surface hydration to keep you, to keep you hydrated throughout the day. Now, with all that being said, you never, ever, ever need to spend more than $10 on a moisturizer. If you do, you are being ripped off, which is why these, all these drugstore recommendations are gonna be $10 or less. Some of them come in at less than $5. Really, all you want to do is it's got to be a simple moisturizing cream that suits your skin type that you can put on to lock all the good work that you've done in. Now, if you can find a fantastic SPF, and I'll link the video where we talk about the best drugstore SPFs. If you can find a fantastic SPF, which is also nourishing and moisturizing, don't worry about the moisturizing step. That is your SPF and your moisturizer in one. You'll save some money and you'll save a step in your routine. Forget the moisturizer because a lot of people put it on top of that and the skin just feels really heavy, weighed down, greasy, oil. it just doesn't work. So if you don't feel you need a moisturizer, don't use one. Let the SPF do their work. Most SPFs are formulated for the skin type that they're aimed to to deliver the protection for. And so if you're say oily and you're using a slightly lightweight um, or matte sunscreen, it's still going to be hydrating enough for your, for your skin. The only time I think you should definitely, definitely, definitely wear a moisturizer is if you have 
supremely dry skin if you have very very dry then i don't think an spf is going to cut it and i think you'll need to put an S um, a moisturizer on top of that now all that being said i'm going to run through my top five picks from the drugstore now i'm going to start with the two which i think are just applicable to everybody and everybody should have in their skincare cabinet i say this because we're not just moisturizing the face you might want to do the hands there might be a neck you might want to do some body um, moisturization and so you really need a catch all these are applicable these two are applicable for all skin types and just are beautiful beautiful products so let's start with the most basic product of all this is the nat natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid from the ordinary it doesn't get simpler than this there is nothing in this bar the moisturizing agents and hyaluronic acid this will moisturize on the surface only and it says this which a surface hydration formula is claiming nothing it's pretending to deliver nothing and i really admire this in a product it is four pounds here in the uk so you're looking at six dollars it is cheap and it does exactly what it's supposed to do which is to deliver surface hydration and lock all the skincare in it's not claiming to reverse the signs of aging it's not claiming to give dewy plump skin all of those claims cannot be delivered by a moisturizer so you're wasting your money if you're investing in them this is simple does the job and costs next to nothing it's a fantastic moisturizer and honestly i've been using this solidly for the past two years and it's going to take something really magical to come on the scene to make me change my mind from this to be my go-to gorgeous in a similar vein catch-all suitable for all skin types because as with ordinary also non-comedogenic this is the cicaplast balm by la roche posay now if you're new to this channel you might not have heard me talk about this if you're one of our regular subscribers that's been there from the start you'll be bored of me talking about this i'm going to link a video up there where i do just talk about this product it is game-changingly gorgeous not only is it packed full of peptides which are going to rebuild the barrier of the skin it's got lipids in there which are going to plump and support the skin it's got panthenol in there so if your skin is a little bit chapped a little bit irritated a little bit sensitive that is going to calm it cool it and just really help to balance any redness and any sensitivity that you might have in your skin i honestly don't think you can find a better moisturizer than this it's at the drugstore for this size is about seven pounds so it'll just under ten dollars so i guess this is one of the pricey ones that i'm recommending today but still under ten dollars if you've got dry hands this should be your go-to if you've got dry elbows again your go-to on the face it is gorgeous the only people i would say maybe this couldn't work for is those that are very very acneic they're in the middle of a breakout I, there are better moisturizers out there and i'm going to offer one today however everyone else this should be in your medicine cabinet it's gorgeous what i really love about them is it's so well tested it is just beautiful. You can use it on um, newborn babies. This is how pure and fantastic a product this is, and I couldn't rave about it more. So if you haven't got this on, buy it. Keep it in your medicine cabinet. You will love it, and you'll never go back. Now on to one's moisturizers that are for specific skin types. I'm going to start with oily. So if you've got oily, acneic skin, you still might need a moisturizer. I think a lot of people with acneic, I, I have very oily skin, and I went through all my teens thinking the last thing I need to do is moisturize because I'm like an oil slick from morning to night. I don't need moisture. You actually do because often your skin is producing that sebum to overcompensate because of underlying dryness often caused by treatments that you've done maybe using a salicylic acid maybe using a harsh cleanser you need to replenish that moisture and the best out there is the neutrogene hydra boost gel this ah oh, a gorgeous god i love do you know what i'm just as a side note i love doing this series because do you know what i i'm addicted to skincare and i love when i find a great product just to shout about it and the Neutrogena Hydrojuice Boost Gel is that product. It comes in at $10, so it's bang on that price point. It's a, t a little, goes a long way, and it's that gel, water gel consistency, which just goes so well with acneic skin. It's calming and it's soothing. You can keep it in the fridge if you really want that calming and soothing effect, especially if the skin is a little irritated and sore. It is completely non-comedogenic. It's not going to clog that skin and it is going to be lightweight. You don't feel that you're wearing it. And that's so important for people with acneic skin. I, The last thing I wanted when I had super acneic skin in my teens is the thought that I was I had a product sitting on the top of my face. It used to really, really irritate me all day long. You don't know you're wearing this. It is the most gorgeous product. You team this with the sheer matte SPF by Neutrogena 
beautiful combo and will leave your skin protected and moisturized and looking as good as it possibly can all day. Couldn't fault it, fantastic product. What happens if you're a little bit, well, the opposite, you're dry. What happens if you are super dry and you find that the Cicaplast Balm or the Ordinary just aren't cussing it for you, you still need that, your skin craves that moisture? There is only one go-to and that is Embryolisse Le Cream Concentrate. Beautiful. Now, pardon my French pronunciation there, not the best, but, you know, who cares? There's an image of it there so you can see it and spell it. Now, this got a bit of a cult following. I don't know if you've heard of a makeup artist called John McLean here on YouTube. He uses this as his go-to moisturiser and sales went like that. Before then, it was quite a niche pharmacy, French pharmacy brand. It is gorgeous. It is super, super hydrating. I mean, the amount of hydration they've packed into that product is out of this world. Now, it is comedogenic, so if you are even close to the oily spectrum this is not the product for you it is not the product for you if you are normal to combination i just think it's too heavy you might cause blockages and you might cause clogging in the skin but if you are dry this will be your godsend product it is also really good for dry areas on the body you might have dry elbows you might have dry knees you might want to do a moisturization before you apply a fake tan this will be a fantastic product to do just that it is a gorgeous gorgeous product but it's super thick and super hydrating and um, it comes in at exactly nine dollars fifty so just under that price point but it's such a fantastically formulated product i don't think i know all the skincare that I've tested in my many years in this industry, I have actually found a product that is that hydrating and that nourishing. And it, it was game changing. And go out there, try it if you are dry and you will not look back. I would just caution anybody that is on the oilier side of things or has or is prone to breakouts. This is not the product for you. Walk away and find another product. Take one of the other recommendations in this video. This one's not for you. Now, finally, my fifth recommendation, but by no means least, because it is a gorgeous product and one that I only started trying about two months ago and fell in love with. What happens if you are sensitive? I actually don't have sensitive skin, but I know a number of people that do. And so I love to test out products that are I really targeted at the sensitive market to see what they're like so I can recommend a sensitive product to, for people with sensitive skin. If you've got sensitive skin, you're looking for fragrance-free, you're looking for um, paraben-free, you're looking for SLS-free, and you're certainly looking for colorant-free. These are the things that can really exacerbate um, irritation and flare-up of sensitivity. This product has none of them. You also would love an active ingredient if you can get one in there that is going to help to calm any inflammation you have, sort out any redness, and just really calm that skin down turmeric is that ingredient it's a natural ingredient it's absolutely fantastic a lot of people use it for brightening the skin because it does have a brightening um does have um brightening properties to it but actually it's beautiful at calming inflammation and really withdrawing the redness from the skin so i'm going to be recommending the inky list turmeric cream if you've got sensitive skin this is a mid hydration it's not super hydrating like the embryolise creme but it is not super lightweight like um, the neutrogena hydro boost gel this is somewhere in between and that added turmeric in there is just going to help to boost that inflammation fighting withdraw that redness from the skin and just soothe and calm everything it is a gorgeous product and I would really really recommend that you try it out it's reasonably new to the market it comes in at just under ten dollars and it is fantastic the Inculus do a fantastic job generally of re really formulating ingredient driven formulas and this is one of them you cannot fault it it is a fantastic product and one that I would definitely recommend if you are on the sensitive side it is applicable to everybody but I think where its market really is to be found is in the sensitive skinned group of people so give it a go let me know actually down below if you've tried it out because i was really impressed with this i don't naturally like the smell of turmeric so i'm a bit bit pop didn't smell at all the color wasn't off-putting it went on beautifully and i i couldn't fault the product so let me know if you've had any experiences with it and what you think right guys that is it. That's my rundown of the five moisturizers. I think it's just really key to re-emphasize the point that you don't need a moisturizer in your routine. If your skin is normal, if your skin is oily and you are getting the hydration that you need from your SPF and you've got the right SPF that adds enough hydration to your routine, you don't need a moisturizer. However, 
if you need the extra moisturizer or before you go to bed where obviously you're not wearing SPF, you might want to have a moisturizer in there. And hopefully I've given you five super affordable under $10 moisturizers that you can use and get gorgeous skin off the back of. Leave me a comment below so you're entered in that giveaway. If you have the chance, hop over to Instagram, join us on at Skin Mad, and I'd love, love, love to see you in the next video, guys. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, if you're self-isolating, don't worry. We can get our skincare. This is time for really working on our skincare and our self-care so that when we're not quarantining and self-isolating, we can emerge from the house like the beautifully skinned butterflies that we are and look absolutely fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.